I'm John Filardo, Vice President for Government Relations at the American Chiropractic Association. Here with our good friend and colleague, Rick Miller. As you can see today, we're outside the Capitol in Washington, D.C. And Rick, uh, members just started arriving back for yes. the second session of the 112th Congress earlier this week. The House is in. The Senate will come back uh, next week. Uh, but they've already started work on things that they left last year uh, when they scooted out of town for the holidays. The one thing we're most interested in is the whole issue on Medicare reimbursement. As you know, we've got that 27% cut looming at the end of February if Congress does not act. It looks like, however, they're going to get to that. And from what I'm hearing behind the scenes, that there, there's support for it and maybe maybe we can just hope that we'll see a two-year fix come out of this. Let's talk a little bit about that. Absolutely, John. That was one of the issues that was left hanging when Congress uh, uh, adjourned, actually. <laughs> they argued that they technically didn't adjourn over the holidays, but uh, uh, they weren't here in town, let's put it that way. Uh, one of the controversial issues that was left hanging was what to do about the uh, SGR formula and this looming uh, cut that would affect all Medicare providers. And of course, the, the core problem there is how are you going to pay for it? So that remains unresolved. But I do believe, I do believe they will find agreement on this thing. It would be great if it were a two-year fix at least. Uh, I'm not going to hold my breath that that's going to happen. I, I think we'll be lucky if, it, if they extend the thing through the end of the calendar year. We'll see. Uh, but again, uh, more continued uh, wrangling between the two parties and a lot of things sort of log jammed. And, and I think very slow movement on issues overall. Again, the Medicare thing might get fixed sooner rather than later, let's hope. But you know what? I think one thing that's important for our viewers, we have a very important upcoming event coming soon. Uh, the National Legislative, uh, National Chiropractic Legislative Congress. John, why don't you tell us about it and, and, and a little bit about the program and what's going to happen there. Well, Rick, I, I, I say this uh, every year around this time, and we're less than a month out, you're right, from this uh, our, our biggest conference uh, here in Washington. Uh, we'll get about 500 people here, uh, hopefully even more than that. We're, we're really casting the net out this year to include especially doctors and students from neighboring states here in Virginia, Maryland, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, so forth. People, you know, within, you know, a three or four hour drive of Washington to come down and participate in this event. This is, this is the biggie, and, I, and like I said, I, I, I say this every year, but I think this one's going to be the best yet. We've got a stellar uh, a group of uh, uh, legislators and, and, and also uh, uh, policy folks from here in Washington. Our keynote speaker is Senator Orrin Hatch, a national figure, also a very big chiropractic supporter. He comes from a chiropractic family. I think it's going to be very important that people are here to hear what he's going to have to say. We're also going to have Congressman Bruce Braley from Iowa, represents Davenport. Strong supporter. Good, strong Davenport supporter. Uh, area, of course, uh, home to uh, to Palmer uh, College out there, uh, and we also have uh, uh, Rima Cohen, uh, yes. Secretary Sebelius' right hand uh, down at HHS. She, she will come and address uh, uh, the group as well. She's uh, a very high-ranking official. Very high-ranking. Again, again, she's uh, uh, the secretary's right hand down there. And in a previous life, uh, worked here on the Hill with us worked for uh, Tom former, Daschle. Tom Daschle, Tom Daschle, former Daschle. Senate Majority Leader. Right, right. Uh, and uh, and also we have uh, Dr. Howard Wasden, uh, New York Times best-selling author, uh, who wrote the team uh, or the uh, the book on uh, Seal Team Six uh, that was out last spring and and, and jumped to the uh, top of the charts. So he will be there. As well, we're also going to have a special surprise visitor. I'm not going to tell you who it is. Only me and a select others know who it is. But uh, there will be a surprise visitor at NCLC. Well, as we well. like surprises. We like surprises in in, in fun form. But uh, there'll be uh, surprises there as well. And of course, the night before, we have our congressional reception here up on Capitol Hill, where we'll have members of Congress come to that as well. It's a very uh, great gathering spot. Uh, for the attendees and for members of Congress to come and talk to the attendees and, and really get a feel for the support of chiropractic here on Capitol Hill. 
John, I think you're right. You know, I, I, I say to people, and I think this is the thing about the event that is most meaningful to me, and that is if you come and attend this event, you know with certainty, no doubt about it, with absolute certainty that you are helping advance the interests of your profession and your career by being here. This event always, always uh, produces uh, some significant momentum for our issues. It helps make new friends and helps encourage our old friends to continue to go out there and champion our issues. So being here, it's a great learning experience. It's a great social experience. It's a great civics experience. Mm -hmm. And I hope everyone will come and be part of this. You really can make a difference here at NCLC. For information on how to get here, how to register, just go to our, our, our web page. It's www.acatoday.org slash nclc. All the information is up there. You'll see how to register, how to get here, what hotel we'll be at, and it gives a, a just the, the lineup of what's going on that entire week. Rick, thank you, my thank friend. Thank you, John. We hope to see you at NCLC.